Alright, hey there everyone, it's your boy Vandal, and I'm coming to you with another figure in our figure series, unboxing series of figures of series, of figures, of series, and we're doing another figure today for you guys, and I'm going to be unboxing everyone's favorite character from Demon Slayer, and that's Zenitsu. You know, the crybaby that we all love because he's best boy, even though I don't know if he's really best boy, but don't cancel me for that one. And if it's your first time being on the channel, I do anime, I talk about how to make manga, I do anime? Anyways, I talk about how to make manga and I love talking about anime and if you're interested in that and want to join my lovely community, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button down below, hit the like button because I'll know you want to see more of these because I'm going to make more of them because I have a lot of figures to unbox. Alright, so this is the big boy. This is the huge boy. Like, oh my god. Like, this box is like, the dimensions on this box are just like ginormous. Compared to last time's box with uh, Tanjiro, this is by far the hugest box we've ever had on this channel but there's only two videos. So I grabbed the other box just for comparison sake. And when we take a look at the both of them, like the way they stack up against each other is insane. They're just mammoths. Look at that. It looks like my face is enclosed. Oh my God. We can see how big this box looks, but let's take a look at the quality of the box. Cause that's something we looked at in the first one. And I think it holds up here too as we have a little bit of that gold foil that we had in the Tanjiro box, which I think was really cool. And the cardboard feels really nice, a nice, a nice thick card stock all around, which is a really, really good look. High quality pictures on the back of how the figure looks outside of the box and the different stances, close up, not too far, and some of the prime details that they put in this figure. So this is another figure made by Fig Arts. So I can guarantee the quality is going to be amazing, but you know, let's open it up and see what's inside. So let's get our handy dandy tool. All right, let's open it up. All right, and this time, this time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess up the box. I did that last time and I'm not gonna do it this time. All right, here we go. So we're gonna, eh. Woo! okay, clean cut. This tape is not getting your boy this time. All right. Let's open it one more time. Eh, eh. Okay, ah, nice sound. You can't even see me open the top of the box because it's so huge and my camera doesn't have a wide angle lens. Anyways, let's take a look at it. It opens up the same. It has similar looks to the inside, but this plastic, oh man. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the plastic. Let's open the plastic. has that nice tape that we all love, that figures all have. It's such nice tape. It's like, it's, a, it's probably like some nice Japanese brand. All right, so let's put this to the side and let's look at the figure inside. Let's see what we got. All right, whoa, nah, what? All right, I, ha I got this, ooh. Ooh, it has a nice smell. Like once you, once you, it has a figure smell. I have this weird thing about smells, but I like the way certain things smell out the box. But is this even right? Okay, this is right. Okay, so, whoa. This is like actually really cool. Also, I'm a big fan of yellow, if you couldn't tell by the branding of this page. So this figure automatically like skyrocketed to number one, but wow. So it has a nice smell right out the box like most figures do. It's just one of those things, I guess you can tell if it's new or not. Uh, there are a lot of details here to talk about. So the first thing that you notice is are these spiky lightnings. And if you poke them just enough, they hurt. They're real, they're dangerous. So be careful, don't get stabbed. Like if you're if you're not careful, you might bleed a little bit if you, if you got low HP points. So. Let's take a closer look at the face. The face is just like him when he's sleeping. It looks really good. I love the yellow, the way it cascades nicely from the top to the orange, just like it does in the show. It's just really nicely done. And just like it was with uh, Tanjiro, the build feels really sturdy, like especially the base. And something that's a return to form for this is that it has a baseless base. Normally figures tend to have like a rounded base to put it on. It's resting on its own form. Like it's using, it does this cool thing at the bottom 
where it has like these little uh, diamond tendrils on the electricity that allow it to stand forward, which I think even adds to it and doesn't take away from it, which makes it look really, really cool. And really nice where it could just fit anywhere. Like even the way it looks right here is really cool and it really pops. Like when you just look at it head on, everything pops really nicely. You can even feel the nice textures of of the figure right here on the rounded dust clouds. It's it's a really nice touch. And like I said before with the uh, Tanjiro one, it'd be really cool to see like some LED mix into this to see how it would be like if it was lit up. Maybe you could even pop some LEDs into this part, which would be really nice overall for a figure. But man, it came out smelling good. It came out swinging. It's yellow. I'm just saying if your figure's yellow, I'll review it. I don't really care as long as it's, you know, safe for work i love yellow that said other things to talk about build is really great yet again this is interesting so they did this thing right here on the figure to keep the balance by putting the electricity right into the knee and it's not something i noticed initially but now it's a little bit jarring because it's weird and they do it again on the other knee like this is like where all the weight is to get this, you know, like to get this real like slanted dash effect. You don't get that without having to do that. So I might bump some points off for that just cause I just noticed it. Like it doesn't feel like if maybe the lightning wrapped around, it'd be a little cool. But overall, I'm not even saying it's bad. There's just a critique. All critiques need to have like a little bit of like a compliment sandwich in it where some things are good, some things aren't really good. But I think that's that's just one of those like little nitpicky things that I wish that this had been done a little bit more craftily, but I'm I'm still blown away. The lightning strikes look all very articulate and very different. Even having like this nice webbed pattern right here to like really sell that electric feel. And like honestly, I really think like right here you could put an LED and it would light up. I really want to get an LED and light it up. Maybe I'll do that in like another video when I do a channel update. But I think this is like a solid, a solid collection. This is a solid, this is a solid addition to anyone's anime figure collection. It definitely adds that pizzazz. I don't know where I'm gonna put it though, cause in the last video, I showed you guys a little bit of tour of my current figure room. I haven't showed you guys the other one yet because that one, I don't have access to it right now, but I'll show it to you once the next time I see it. It's, it's a, a whole other story in and of itself. Let's get down to that goal by hitting that like button and subscribing to this video, but maybe doing that in reverse, subscribing to this channel and then liking this video. There we go. I also like the triangles. They all seem nicely put. Everything in terms of details looks like it was really thought out. Even both sides of the blade have the electricity. If you can't see it, I'll show you guys in like uh, another part of the video, but it's really nice. The footing is really good it's it's an overall good figure now the price I paid for this was about like $75 so it might be $75 right now and I don't know when I say it's worth $75 if you're not the biggest fan of this character no duh because you're not the biggest fan and that's okay but in general if you're just someone who likes collecting figures for the series I think it's definitely a great part to add to your collection if you really like it it's kind of obvious, but I'm just saying that just in case you were thinking, maybe I should buy it just for the build quality. And that's just for somebody who really likes sculpture. But I have to always throw my little artsy fartsy parts into this. Uh, there are some weird discolorings I have on the top, but it might just be an error due to, you know, printing happens or sculpting happens. So what would I rate this figure out of 10? Because we did it out of 10 last time. Tanjiro was an eight, damn. I feel kind of bad because like I said in the last video, that was really arbitrary. But what I really like about this one is the pizzazz. The lightning really just like sells it. So while that was an eight, I want to say that this is definitely a, oh man, I don't really know what to say, man. I want to say it's definitely a nine. I think it's a nine. Not everything has to be a nine, but this is definitely a nine. It's yellow. Actually, 9.5. It's yellow, so it got 0.5% points for being yellow. I'm sorry, it's biased, I don't care. So it's yellow, and I really enjoy it. I think it's cool. I like the little orange dreadlocks. I also like 
orange, so that helps this figure even more. It's just, it's playing to all my color palettes. I think that's why I like him. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of his character, but I'm definitely a fan of this color. So, that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review video, what I thought about it, what you should think about it. Let me know in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear what you have to say about this figure. I'm curious if it's your style, if you like the character, if you like Demon Slayer at all. Do you want to see more of these videos? All of that can go down there because I'd love to hear what you have to say. But yeah, guys, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye! It's kind of cool. Alright, it's time for you to go up top. Eh. Oh my god, he's so high up. You know who else I should put up there? Oh, they fit perfectly up there. That's beautiful. Actually, maybe I'll switch them with the black. Oh yeah, that's perfect.